a hip hop festival making its debut and taking over the north end of the Strip. The Day in Vegas Festival is right next to Circus Circus across the street from the Sahara. It kicked off this afternoon, but after a big headliner dropped down, some festival goers were wondering if the show would go on. Fox 5's Deanna Bonner is live outside the festival grounds. Well, we met a lot of people going into the festival this morning. Things are underway now, but before today, some people were wondering if they got a good deal or if they just got duped. It was also like my favorite artist performing all at once in one venue. Dozens of the biggest names in hip hop touted to take the stage at day in Vegas. But once headliner Travis Scott dropped out just days before. I found out on Twitter, like my friend retweeted it. Some festival goers were left wondering if other artists would jump ship too. I know people are devastated though. Travis Scott has a real uh, rabid fan base, so. I know a lot of people bought their ticket just for him. And after word got out the rapper wouldn't be there, we saw dozens of people selling their tickets online. A little bit after that, but I mean, when are you going to see J. Cole and Kendrick like together? You know what I mean? At the same couple of days. So one woman told Fox 5 she was selling her tickets because she no longer thought it was worth the price. It sucks. I hope he's all right. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be people there that go for Travis Scott that didn't know Travis Scott dropped out but hopefully they won't be too mad. Festival goers said they saw some other red flags for the first time festival. It was Yeah, very... we were kind of scared just because they wouldn't drop their set times pretty early. That's exactly what I thought. I thought it was too good to be true, but it seemed legit. And as more artists announced they'll be here, festival goers told us they'll make the most of their tickets and their time in Vegas. I guess I'm optimistic. You know, they added Future, they added Playboy Cardi. You know, it's still going to be a good time. Because I feel like they always got to put on a show either way, so. Yeah, something had to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and I reached out to the festival for a comment about some of these last minute changes and announcements, but did not hear back in time from them. Reporting live, Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.